Hello viewers, Chief here, welcome. Today we're going to be taste testing this drink which I got from the UK. This one's called Moose Juice. And it's just a standard energy drink. It comes in the 473ml can. This flavour is, let's have a look. It's a green apple flavour. This one's got zero, zero sugar and zero carbs. And it's got quite a distinctive logo on it. It's got a picture of a moose flexing his right bicep there. So he's got a big gun showing in the... Uh, in the forefront there. Very interesting can. It says it's extreme energy. This one's manufactured in the Economic Union, but it's a UK-based drink, and I think it's a UK-based company. Uh, the interesting thing with this, it's not a shrink wrap can, it's a printed can, but you can see that there's an overlap there where there's a, a large seam for the painting or the uh, the wrap that they use on there. I'm pretty sure it's silk screened on there, and then it's just heat treated to the bond of the can but there's a definite seam there but it's not a shrink wrap can so that's quite interesting the way they do it. it's probably just another way of, of affixing a label to the can I'll do a screenshot of the blurb it's pretty hard to read the stats on this can because of the color of the can it's very much a green apple color like a, a sour apple or a granny smith apple flavored uh, granny smith apple color and it, it doesn't mix well with the white print on there. If this was printed in black, at least the stats, I think, would stand out a lot easier. But all in all, it's predominantly green can, and it's fine. This one's got B-group vitamins and base-chain amino acids. That's what uh, BCAA means. Uh, it's got some taurine, caffeine, ginseng, and uh, the usual stuff that you get in energy drinks. And uh, probably some aspartame and saccharin and the other usual artificial flavours and, and sweetness in there. So here we go, moose juice. Let's give it a try. Uh, this one I had sent out from the UK. I've got a case of the drinks. There's, uh, yeah, I can't actually quite remember to be quite honest. I think there's four different flavours in, in this line of drinks. And I've got a dozen sent out and um, in, into my country, Australia. And again, it costs an absolute fortune, but I thank one of my sponsors for that for helping out with the costs. Otherwise, uh, would have been ridiculously expensive, you know, over 30 Australian dollars per can in, in the scale ratio, which would have been a, an expensive taste test. Uh, we've got a standard 500ml glass there with a one cubic inch ice cube, but as you can see that ice cube is not actually a cubic inch because the tray for the cubes is one cubic inch. This one got squashed a little bit, but it is the volume, same volume of a one cubic inch ice cube tray just not the same shape and size because it's a silicon tray and it did get compressed in the freezer. But that's the volume of the ice cube, but for all intents and purposes, we'll, uh, we'll tip it out and have a look. Let's see if we've got any pressure shift in there. Uh, we've got a standard uh, 500 or 473 ml can, some of them are 500. They've got that big indentation on top and that's usually designed that when you put another can over the top, it sits in there and it can stack and it doesn't move. But this actual lip is quite pronounced. Normally it's just a small, little indentation in there, but this is very pronounced, so that's quite unusual. That's about the size on the base of a 250ml can, and the can itself is not. So that's interesting. I haven't looked at the expiry date. Oh, I've still got several months, and this is early July now, so got plenty of time left on this can. Let's see if we have any pressure shift in there. So here we go, moose juice, extreme energy. This one's green apple flavoured. Let's have a listen for any pressure shift. Well, that was quite violent. Oh, and the first thing I smelt, there's no spits on the can. It doesn't send any much carbonation. I had that initial rush of smell, aroma come from the can, and it tastes exactly like, well, let's say taste, it smelt exactly like apple flavour. And it just hit me in the face and went, oh, that's apple. So I'm very much looking forward to this. Let's have a, an actual smell. Oh, that's, you can't mistake that for anything else. It reminds me of, first thing off the bat, of apple flavoured fairy floss or cotton candy that you get at the fair or the carnival or the circus or the show or you can get it at uh, the cinemas or movie theatres, whatever you call it in your country. That's exactly what it smells like. Very strong apple smell. Let's pour it in the glass and see how we go. Bit of a sniffly nose here, some moose juice, green apple. 
Now just looking at it, there's not too much carbonation at all. There's virtually none. That ice cube is floating more or less right under the surface. You can see quite clearly through the liquid, so it's a very clear liquid. Uh, very, very small bubbles. I don't know if we can get a close-up of that. We can see any. I can from my side. I'm working with some dodgy light conditions because it's very rainy and overcast here today. And it's a, not a clear liquid. It's a slight pink tinge to it. It's a very light rose colour. So if you had, say, um, a glass of rosé or Moscato wine and thinned it out a little bit with a bit of water or other liquid, that'll be similar to the colour. It's the best way I can describe it. Let's have a smell. Very strong cotton candy smell, that apple flavour cotton candy smell. Very, very strong aroma. So here we go. I'm looking forward to this moose juice, green apple. Let's give it a go. I took that extra swig there and it's very borderline to being overpowering. It has a very, very strong apple aroma to it. When it first hits the tongue, you immediately taste the apple. Once you swirl it around the mouth, inside the palate, and then swallow, very, very strong taste of apple. Can't mistake it for anything else. A bit of a bitter apple, like a green apple, sour apple. And then when you swallow it, the apple tastes, and then it becomes very bitter, very much like salt. So you can taste the artificial flavouring in this product and it's apple, but it's very overpowering. And at the moment, I'm licking my lips. There is not much taste of apple that's lingering. There's that very bitter, acrid chemical taste and the apple flavouring is just about all gone. So a second or two after swallowing it, that apple taste disappears and you get that very very strong chemical aftertaste to the mouth which if you have a sensitive palate or you just don't have a very strong disposition you might be adverse to a product like this but I'll give it another taste yeah, that bitterness has just kicked in now I don't actually mind it but I would mix this with something a little bit stronger just as a, and use this as a mixer. I would probably suggest a, a strong bourbon or a whiskey, uh, Jack Daniels, Jim Beam, if you wanted to put something alcoholic in it, or if you wanted to put a pineapple juice in there just to sweeten it up, or some diet lemonade. They will probably mix quite well with this, or this would go well in a fruit punch. But on its own, it's not bad. If you like sour drinks, or something that has a little bit of a bitter kick to it, this would be right up your alley. But it does taste like apple. You can't mistake it for anything else. And all in all, it's different. It's a fantastic marketing technique for the can because uh, it, the ingredients it has in it and it's very eye-catching and it's got a quite a good name to it. Moose juice. It just has a ring to it. And I'm very impressed with it. Uh, on a scale of 1 to 10, I'd give this one a solid 7. I would buy it again if it was available in my country, but uh, it seems a bit silly to be spending upwards of 30 Australian dollars for equivalent for a can of drink like this to have it sent over especially if you're only doing a dozen cans at a time, which is a case. Um, to make it cheap, you'd have to get a container load at a time. By the time you cleared customs and you paid for the freight, etc., etc., it'll probably work out roughly the same anyway. And unless you were selling them in large volumes, you wouldn't make money on it. But it's a curiosity to get, um, as a one-off or a two-off, get a few cans sent over with people that are coming or going from the UK or from Europe to this country. It's not a bad idea to ask them to pick up some cans for you. Or if you've got some very generous sponsors, uh, like I have in the background, um, that's very, very helpful. But there you have it, moose juice, and I'm quite looking forward to tasting the yellow can, which I believe is a tropical-themed flavour. And they also have a berry flavour, and there's a red can as well, which I think is the berry. Uh, and I'm pretty sure there's a purple can. So there's the four flavours off the top of my head. I've had um, probably a hundred odd cans come through lately and they're all in boxes and it's very hard to remember every flavour in every can. But we'll be getting to them at one stage. So there we have it, moose juice. I do recommend it. If you do find it and you're curious, give it a go. I thank you for watching. We'll see you on the next test.